drop, gonna drop. If you could say one thing to Charlie today, what would it be? I don't know. Why did you leave me? <laughs> Whoopi, why did you leave me? <laughs> Whoopi, why did you leave me? <laughs> I cry for him. I wake up sleeping, crying. It's all like a bad dream. I wish I woke up and it, and it wasn't true. I wish that I would wake up and it was a joke. I know that, you know, we, we were trying to do this interview for a while now and um, we, we just couldn't do it because I, I understand that you were still grieving and and I can, you know, obviously you're still grieving today because you, you had such a great yeah. relationship with Charlie um, and Charlie was just, he was quite the person, uh, a really like a one of one, his personality was just, <laughs> just you know, he... It, you just couldn't help but love him, you know, love watching him too on YouTube. Like I know a lot of people, they may have been had an allegiance to Joe or claim to not like Charlie, but it's like you can't help but be entertained by him. His his personality was larger than life, you know, all the catchphrases that he had and and everything. Um, what what was your favorite memory with Charlie? When he came out the first time, I think I was turning 40, he gave me a surprise party. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, because we know that Charlie's name is not really Charlie. He he once told me that. No. Nope, right. And he told me not to divulge what it is, though. <laughs> he was so embarrassed. Yeah. But my mom didn't know any English and she pronounced the name wrong in English and they gave him this weird name. Right, yeah. right. And he, he would tell me as a as a kid and everything how he was very embarrassed about it. And um Yeah. That's that's really funny. Um Did he tell you how he got the name Charlie? I, I, I don't remember, but I know that he did tell me though. Can you can you remind me? Because my mom would cut his hair real short like Charlie Brown. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and they started making fun of him. They would call him Charlie Brown. Right. And that's how I got the name Charlie. I named my son. I only have one son after him. Not the first name, the middle name. <laughs> wow. See, that, that goes to show you how much you really loved him, you know, and, yeah. and how much you cherished his his relationship, your relationship with him. Um, you know, one of the things the fans really wanted to donate, uh, to the family to have a GoFundMe and everything, but instead you, um, you told the fans to donate to Prosperity House. That is correct. Right. His relationship with Prosperity House, um, it was a very good thing for him. You, you, you believe that they helped save his life? Yes, he did. Um, he loved helping people. He he just liked it, and um, a lot of times I would call him, and he was there, and he was like, "Call me later because um, I'm doing my Bible classes," or he was talking to the guys about you know doing Bible classes. Right, you know that's the thing is that I it always bothered me that people held on to his past because of his substance abuse and they couldn't see him as more than that. So when people would comment bad things about him, you know, in the comments, I would always defend him and say, you know, he's, he's been clean for a very long time. He's out in the community, prison mentality. He's helping people. I don't understand like how you can't let that go to allow somebody to really be more, you know, to uh, he's really trying to change things and do things for the better. 
Um, and I always told your brother, I always told him, I said that I'm so proud of you because not everyone can turn their life around, you know, and he, he was able to do that. And he was very happy making the content and everything on YouTube. But I know genuinely what he cared about more than anything was the work he was doing in the community. You know, he genuinely Thanks. loved doing that. And he was very happy doing that. Um, I feel like Charlie was just a, a very special person. Um, I just, you know, I, I miss him all the time too, you know, and I take a look at our messages in our DM and, and, you know, and sometimes I just wish that it, it, a notification would come up and it, it would be him again, you know, yelling, we international or something, you know, um, it's, it's just such a, such a loss, you know, like even, my family even knew about Charlie because I would I would talk about him, you know, and then I would tell them, oh, I'm interviewing his sister. And they're like, oh, wow, you know, because because I, I, I did care about Charlie a lot, you know, and it's he was my yeah. life. I I wanted to make sure that I was the person to break the news because I knew that I would do it the right way to really humanize him to show that he was so much more than fat Joe stories. You know, I know a lot of people watched him for that, but he was more than that. And if you really listen to what he was saying, talking about changing your mindset and changing your life and, and doing all of these things, you know, and so it was really important for me to show the people that, that he was so much more. And, you know, I'm so grateful to be able to speak with you today. Um, because it's just, he meant a lot to me as well. Okay. Thank you. And I'm glad if you like another interview, it'll be a while because like I said, I'm in so much pain. Right. There um, is, is there anything that else you want to say to the fans before we go? I appreciate the support, the love they have for him. And he was drug free for many years. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I can't imagine how that felt for you that you're already going through the loss of somebody so important to you. And then there's people throwing dirt on his name about why he passed to begin with, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's true. And if Joe ever contacts me, because I know in my heart he will, you will be the first to know. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. I appreciate you.